anche con tutta volela! Ti rendo a scar cosa a stessi la loggia! Ma me lo chiedo su quello che ho Our story starts in the great hills of the Eastern Cape, in a village named after a fish. Meet Peggy. Peggy is in Patomeika. What is Umbato, you may ask? Well, they say it's the most elaborate dress a Tosa bride will wear. It doesn't just tell you where she's going, but more where she's from. All coming together in pattern and beaded storytelling. Nkosazana wanted one that would make the local ladies look at her like she bathes in fresh milk. As far as milk goes, Peggy's attempts left her sour. It hit him. He needed to find inspiration elsewhere. Where could it be? Madeleine. Where was this elsewhere? He wasn't sure, but if any inspiration needed finding, it would be here. Here among the brown cows, fly in the buttermilk cows, njengabantaba kukile cows, cows with horns that stab the rain. And even cows that love long walks on the beach. He decided to look a little further and found a place speckled with houses as white as the sands of the sea. There he met Doctor, Professor and Excellent, who knew exactly where to find what he was looking for. Five minutes over there, man. Five minutes. Don't argue with me, brother. Over the bridge. Oh, maybe not. Kwachoni langa. Kwafugi mikombe. Perhaps rubbing shoulders with kings and queens could help. Yes, Beggy made friends in high places. He even got lost in the royal treatment. So he did what we all do when we lose our way. Consult the elders. And they did what any mama would do. They fed him. Filled, he went It was further than a short walk away. So Peggy swished and swashed the white waters, landing. Gwandonga Ziaduma, in the city of gold. In a place of Shapuzi. Mesh mosh of memories and music, of colors and people. Hey, Lily Colite, Lia Titegi, and no amount of GPS could take Beggy where he needed to go. But he wasn't one to give up. So he looked to the mountains. And 
into the skies. He met a man from the valley of a thousand hills who showed him it's not where, but who. Patterns of every shape and form weaved themselves in his head. He was almost there. He just needed to make one more stop. To the table that stood where two oceans meet. Magnificent. But he needed a table of a different kind. Enter hey, Mrs. Mukadem. And her daughter Rashida. Who was so beautiful, so talented. She plays three full songs on the recorder. Yeah, she's the champion of the community ballroom dancing. One look into her eyes, and the earth shook. The whistles whistled, the bells bailed, and something clicked. Could this be the final thread? The last of a million glass beads? Layers and patterns and stitches that all came together in a little blue house in the poor cup? Yes, no doubt. Biggie was inspired. So inspired, in fact, he now needed to make not one umbato, but two. <laughs> 